My very first painting I did when I was 12. And I remember my aunt giving me some money for my birthday. I think it was my birthday. It could have been something else. But I went to the art supply store. I got a big canvas and oil paints. And um, I had to schlep it across town on a public bus. But that's a whole another story. I did get it home. I put it on a table against the wall. And I start painting. I was listening to Pink Floyd. I used a lot of red paint and I used brushes for the first time. And I remember just how frustrating that was for me because I couldn't feel it. I just couldn't feel it. And there was an artist in my building. Uh, she did a lot of sculpture and she thought, why don't you try sculpture if you need to feel stuff and you touch stuff? Like, why don't you do sculpture? But sculpture's not my thing. So, so that's how it started. But then, oh, what happened to that painting? That painting was called The Animals. And it was a very stylized abstract of um, a composition of human figures. It was men and women and, you know, we're all animals and that was the point. And uh, when I moved out, uh, I moved out from my parents' house uh, to go to college. And when I left, my mom, you know, so I wasn't there. My mom, who is artistic, wanted to paint, didn't have a canvas and she painted over it. I know. I actually talked to her uh, about it and I said, mom, do you remember that painting that I painted, but then you painted over it? And she goes, no, I don't remember anything. <laughs> I'm like, come on, you remember, you did it. But you know, it's all good. You know, there's a lot more where that came from. There's a lot of creativity. There is, it's, it's like unlimited supply of this stuff, you know? So it doesn't matter, it's okay. And, um, I think what's most important is to keep keep making your art. You just have to keep making your art and everything else will just fall into place. Just do your thing, make your art and keep going. I'm